is your neck of the woods? How is it going there in your neck of the woods? When you leave your home, do you step into direct light or shade? What tree thrives in your backyard? Do you look at it through the window in the morning? Do you walk into rooms and lose the task you had set up for yourself? In the shower, do you always remember whether you have washed your hair yet? Have you looked for suds in the drain as a clue? How are you wearing your hair? In your neck of the woods, are the afternoons loud with lawnmowers and cars? How quickly does it become evening for you? Do you identify with the town in which you live? Where do you feel you are from? What do you speak with each day, most days, or only on occasion? Do you share what you cling to, the ideas or places or practices, or is it only visible beneath your fingernails? Where is your neck of the woods exactly? What portion of which continent can claim you? Where are you headed? There are things about you I will never know. There are things I will never know. I'll read this one because there's other artists and musicians in the room, I think, um, and maybe writers too. Yay, that's a good thing. Um, and this is about um, this phenomenon called pressing ghosts. Uh, and it's kind of an interesting, weird thing that happens to people. I don't know if you've ever experienced where you wake up from sleeping and you can't move. Um, like, your mind is awake, your body can't do anything. And it's kind of a weird phenomenon. And there's this Japanese word for it, uh, kanashibari. But it's a, it's a real thing, and, and there's all this folklore about it um, and what that means, what your pressing ghost is, like a ghost pressing down on you. Um, so this is about that, but also it goes out to us artists and those of us who doubt ourselves when we make stuff. <laughs> pressing ghosts. One morning, my mind woke up, but my body did not go anywhere. I summoned my extremities, but they remained slack against the mattress. It soon wore off like drunkenness. Sleep paralysis, science explains. Muscle lagging behind consciousness a bit more than usual. In folklore's jurisdiction, this is known as a pressing ghost, kanashibari. The condition of being fastened with unseen metal, of being held down by shadow. Don't get up. The pressing ghost murmurs above us, and we don't. Eventually, they release us, wheel away into the air like bats. Your hesitation before unlatching your guitar, the way you cringe before bringing your fingers to its strings if anyone else is with you. Each fear dripping within you as water droplets form at the end of icicles and fall. This, too, is a pressing ghost. You will look stupid, one says, or you can never finish this. I'll show you mine. They will think you are selfish. The things you make are unremarkable. How to deal with the spirits of paralysis? Let us form a strategy. When doubt presses itself against my chest, issuing its fine mist of deprecation, selfish dullness, I will not move because I cannot, but I will look at it and answer with this thought. Even so, I keep creating. I am capable. I will calmly allow its heaviness and stand when it goes. It will. <laughs>